Well, guys, I'm sure if you're looking at this video, you can all pretty much guess what you're looking at. It's a 1966 Ford Bronco 4x4 Sport, sporting a 302 cubic inch. It just came in today to Burt's Auto and Restorations, and we've got to finish the restoration of it. Uh, the gentleman started it, and as he was going along, he's decided it's time for somebody that knows what they're doing to take over. As you can see, body line gaps are way off. He's, you know, he 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 did a. I gotta say he did a decent job at trying to get it there, but it definitely needs some finished tweaking and stuff in areas. It's got all new floors. Floors have been all welded in brand new. It's gotta be cleaned up. Rockers are all in. Door posts, jams, all of that stuff. But this is what we are starting with. And we are going to try and give this gentleman a very nice little truck afterwards. These pieces here are actually meant to go back here within this mixture here, but somehow or another they didn't get put in there, so we've got to tear that all back apart, put them in. This right here is all part of where the gas tank and all that goes. As you can see, it don't fit quite right. So we gotta make that work. There's the other one on that side there. Bunch of pieces here we gotta weld in. We gotta recut out these wheel wells here so we can reset them. Uh, you know, we got a little bit of a task ahead of us here. There's quite the gap right there. You can see that gap wicked right there. We gotta get that lined in there. All this is all tack welded in there. Or some of it's a little bit more than tack welded I should say some of it's welded right in there pretty solid like you know right there see them welds yeah they're pretty pretty beefy welds but we'll get it this is pretty much a start video this is what we're starting out with guys let me know what you think the old 66 or should I say 69 Bronco oh well guys, a little progress report on the old Bronco here, 69 Bronco. Did some uh, cleaning up today, some grinding and stuff on the floor here. We still got some to do, still some edging and all that, but majority part of it we ground up, got a lot of that rust back out of it. Got the inner wheelhouses out of it and the back panels there. Uh, as I was saying, this quarter panel's high. That one there's got to we got to adjust them a little bit. So I got them pieces cut out. Everything's ordered up. But we're getting started on it, guys. As you can see, the old '66 Bronco is in progress. Well, I got the front nose off it, and look at what I'm finding, folks. Told you. This thing is nigger rigged right to the core. Look at this, top riveted piece of metal. And they have goober fibered roofing tar, whatever you want to call it, the snot bucket out of this thing. Look at the rust and stuff there. This is all still major issues that need to be taken care of on this thing. So with that said, see how that is? That's all gotta be replaced, so. With that said, I guess I'm calling the owner and telling him I need a bunch more new parts. This thing is rough. Real rough. We got rot up here. Got rot here. This whole piece here is all loose. Rotted right out. Tired right the snot here. Same thing here. Got a piece here that's, I don't know what the heck the story on that all is. But it, it's something, I'll tell you. Gotta take care of it. Well, this is what we're finding so far here. Bunches of rust. A panel that they've pop riveted in. Which has got to come out of there. That, that whole piece has all got to come out of there. It's right full of rust and whatnot. It's got to be taken care of. All of that. That rust here. That rust up underneath that panel in there. All of that's got to come out of there. 
It's all got to come out. They also did a patch up here too, didn't they, Brian? Yep. Somebody did. Right there. So. Yep, she got to be taken out. Hey everybody, how you doing? Bert here, back with you on the 69 Bronco build. Bunch of new parts in, been cutting up all the old parts, things like that, getting things ready. There's the whole new front end that we're going to be putting on this rig. Up to where all this here apart. Now I'm working on this, but I just wanted to show you something guys. This is how some people think you do repairs on cars. They actually used screws and put this all together down through here. The big huge screws. But yeah, that's how some people around this neck of the woods do their body repair and stuff. But here at Burt's Auto and Restorations, we don't play around like that. Look at that. Busted that right off there. <laughs> But we're going to work and get all that rust out of there, and we're going to start welding in our new pieces. Stay tuned, guys. Look at this, will ya? Holy mother's uncle. Tell you what, when they tired that, baby, they tired it. Yeah, they did. Alright, don't look like it's going to be too bad of a fight there. I'll be able to get this here out of there and get that kick panel mounted in here, I think. Getting there, one side almost tore apart. Oh guys, this looks like speed tore up to me. What do y'all think? Boy, a lot of work there to do. Yeah. Well guys, new kick panel is in there, kind of fitted in there to where it needs to be. Door jam is up in here. I got to do some cleaning up here so I can do some welding and stuff, but I'm getting it fit. Fits pretty good down there. So far everything seems to be good. I took the door, set it up there, and spaced the bottom of it and things, and so far my line here on my on my windshield here and back there are all lining up really nice so I guess I've got to say I'm not I'm not uh, not too far in the hole here I guess I'm, I'm I'm coming out I'm swimming like crazy and I'm 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 seeing the top of the water just as soon as uh, my pops gets here I gotta get one piece we got on the back of his truck that'll go right here called the inner fender I wanna get that mounted up get the fender hang 
you know, draped up there like I do on the other side, get it up on there, get the door on there, make sure they line up, as well as it does on this side over here, and we're going to be doing pretty good. So far, everything's lining up decent over here to where I can get it, and now I'm working on this side to get it where I need to get it. Got to make a couple more pieces for the firewall edges right there on that side and that side, so I'll be able to tack into there nice and solid, clean up that firewall get everything start tacking it from the windshield forward come forward tack it all be done with it get it all welded up then I can start pr uh, prepping and priming and painting Hey guys, how y'all doing? See all of this up in here? This here was actually all in. Whoop, caught you there. But it was all in to where this door was, door line was way off. I've got it now so it's out even. Right out there, pretty decent. Now I'm working on the lower quarter panel part. Here's a couple insert pictures of what it was before. But this is what I'm trying to do where he had his welds and pop rivets and all that in there. I've got to break them free like I did this here. If you look, you can see where there's a weld line there with these here. I made a new piece and put in there. I ended up cutting out a big chunk of what he had in there. Cut it out and put my own piece in here and brought it outward where I needed it to be to line up. Now we're going to try and get this here out. And of course, I'm doing what I can to try not to hurt this outer side edge here. Because I don't want to lose anything there on that line. I'm going to have to tweak this up a little bit to get all this. I don't want to go drilling and have holes through everything. I want to try and keep as much metal there as possible. So I just dig out my old big old trusty chisels that old school and I work at it work at it little by little There's no tweak there, but I got a little divot here. But I can straighten that all out once I get it back together. I wouldn't have had to fuck with it if it was welded in where it should have been in the first place. This truck was so way out of whack, they call it the whack. Whack job. I'm gonna call it whack job from now on. There you go. Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, not too bad here. I'm here with the uh, 69 Ford Bronco Sport. The one we were supposed to have done for Lake George. Well, it ended up being a way lot more work than what I could do all by myself. So no matter what anyone says, I will say myself personally, I was a fool for even trying to think I was going to try and accomplish it. But, here we are. This is where we are. Everything's all welded up. 
everything's going into primer. I just got done working on the grill assembly here. Got it under primer. Got it fit on here. Got a little bit of tweaking and twisting to do. A couple little spots here where you, you might think it might be just a hair high yet. Uh, to get these lines here to come into to perfectness. But we do have the radiator support in it. If you all remember that. We've got the inner fenders all painted. They're dusty. I've been doing work on other stuff here. Firewalls in. Same over here. It's dusty. Got it all in. Yes, the motor's right there. 302. But I'm trying to keep as much of the dust and stuff off of all of this stuff that I can here to keep it as clean as possible. Uh, we got to order a new master cylinder. The master cylinder is bad on this. There it is right there. We put it on and had a problem with it. But radiator supports all painted the original color of the rig. Uh, body's all set. Doors are pretty much fit. Body lines are pretty much right in there where I'm going to want them to be. Got the gas tanks in. Got all my body lines seam sealed. She looks nice and straight down through there. Inside is all seam sealed, primered, etch primered, sealed, whatnot. I mean, um, this area here, dash is all painted. Um, wish there was a way I could show you that. Actually, I think I got some pictures. Let me snap a picture in here right now. There you go. You just see your pictures. So, uh, yeah, the dash is all painted. I've got these here all set and ready to go. Got a little bit more priming to do here. Another finished coat. Yeah, but I mean, see how nice that? Look at that. Boom. Done. Can't get any better than that. I've had to tailgate on it, which it fits nicely. i got to clean that up. That's all primered. All painted inside there and treated. All taken care of. All the little nooks and crannies have been sealed. All the holes, everything like that in here. Holes drilled for the seats. And this door was way out of whack. That thing, mister, I'll tell you what. The bottom of that door stuck out probably an inch. Look at that baby now. Nice old body line right there now. She looks good. She's definitely looking pretty sweet. I would say this thing is going to be in paint probably within the next week, guys. So keep your eyes open for it. It's a coming, and it's looking good. I have to say, looking real good.